On the previous Jordan vlog, we started our day in Madaba and then visited two religious sites in Jordan and finished in the beautiful town of Assault. Today is going to be our last Jordan vlog, so come along with us as we visit the popular Jerash and the capital Amman before we take our flights back to our home countries. After spending our first night in the capital of Jordan, Amman, we drove for 45 minutes towards Jerash, also known as the Pompeii of the East. Jerash is one of the best preserved Greco-Roman cities and it will cost you 10 dinars to visit. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. We arrived in Jerash. We're going to stay here for a few hours. have no idea how long it will take. Um, we parked outside of the visitor center and the guy charged us two dinars to stay here for the whole day. Well, we don't really know if it was the right guy or not, but at least we paid what we had to. After crossing the whole Cardo Maxima street, we finally got to the other end, the North Gate. As the name suggests, this is the north area of the Roman ancient city of Gerash, and it includes the beautiful North Theater, which we will see next. So here is the north side of the city, and you can see at the end the North Gate and we are at the North uh, Theatre but this is very very beautiful and wonderful so next we are heading to that temple over there finally left the north side we're a little bit late because we spent a lot of time taking pictures there and not only that but there is a guide or gentleman like selling souvenirs and he showed us like some panoramic pictures and said we can I can take some of you so he did take some of our pictures and of course at the end he asked us for a tip <laughs> I've been giving way too many tips in Jordan them right over there is the city of Jerash. those shots and I promise you that I did not get hurt, we left the north side and started to walk towards the south. You actually start your tour through the south gate but we decided to head straight to the Ovo Plaza in the beginning and come back to the south attractions only after visiting the north. And let me tell you that I'm actually quite happy that we did that as we didn't have much more to walk once we got to our next stop, the south theater. And believe it or not, we were pretty tired by now.
After all of that, we finally got the theater free for a few seconds, so we took some quick pictures, which somehow led to me being asked if I could be part of this guy's video. And the rest, be you'll careful. be able to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look the same or not? No, it doesn't, Jan. And you know, I have a feeling yoga is the last thing on your mind. <laughs> Awkward, by the way, but it was fun. <laughs> Getting randomly uh, interviewed. <laughs> yeah. They told me that the video would be live on YouTube, but sadly, somehow I never got to see it. To finish our visit in Jirash, we walked all the way to the Arch of Adrian before heading back to Amman. Once we got to Amman, we made a quick stop at King Abdullah Mosque. The entrance is made through the gift shop where they give you ropes to cover and the entrance fee is 2 dinars, paid at the mosque. Since the sun was setting, we drove straight to our place. Amman has so much traffic that parking is extremely difficult and most of the time you will have to negotiate a price for the time you're staying at the parking lot with someone who will actually get in your car and park it in front of other cars. Just like a puzzle. We then chose a place to eat so we could have a nice dinner before heading to bed. The meat and the vegetables is really, really good. But then, see so this. French fries with cumin. It's actually good, but I wouldn't put it on my French fries. We finally spent our last night in Jordan in the boutique hotel Amman, which was quite pricey for what we got, but well, that's what you get when you visit the capital. This is our last day in Amman. We are actually late because I thought we had more time and we don't, so we have one hour to see the city now. So, we have 35 40 minutes to see the whole citadel, which generally is recommended to be like within two hours so we just ran inside it's included in the jordan pass we left our jordan pass inside of our cars but they just let us go anyways we were very lucky so we ended up seeing this in like 20 minutes instead of two hours and unfortunately we don't really have time to go out and see the theater because otherwise that's, that would be the next stop we saw two theaters anyways um, in Jirash yesterday so we are a little bit like yeah let's have time and drive back safely because otherwise we'll waste a lot of time and who knows what can happen uh, so yes uh, we're gonna drive now towards Akamba so we can take our flight back to Geneva and then from Geneva to our place. Milan and Debbie Bourgeois. 
this way we finish our Jordan vlog series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it show you how beautiful this country really is. See you on the next video. Take care. It's the north side of the um, archaeological, archaeological, oh I can't say that. <laughs>